In this video, we take a look at network interface cards. A computing device which is physically unable to communicate with any other is known as a standalone. As soon as we provide some mechanism for the device to communicate with another device, whether that be via a wired or wireless solution, we can say the device is networked. Every device connecting to a network needs a network interface card. These are also commonly referred to as network interface controllers and network adapters. They use a set of rules to determine how the connection should work and allow for this communication between devices to take place. Early NICs were commonly implemented as expansion cards, which were actually plugged into a computer's motherboard. Today, the low cost and universal nature of the Ethernet standard has meant they're built directly into motherboards. Wireless NICs, also known as WNICs, allow a device to connect without the need for cables. They can either be integrated again into the device or plugged into the device via a USB dongle or adapter. The NIC contains the Media Access Control address or MAC address, which is generated at the manufacturing stage. And it's quite possible for a device to have multiple separate connections to a network via its network interface cards. Each connection is assigned its own unique MAC address. We'll be looking at MAC addresses in more detail in the next video. So as a summary, a network interface card connects a device to a wired or wireless network. It uses a protocol to ensure successful communication, and it contains the media access control address, which is generated at the manufacturing stage.